Hi everyone and welcome back to a new episode of the Angular Spring Boot course. Today we are going to see how to deploy a Spring Boot app or a Spring Boot API on Tomcat. So we are talking about a WAR application. Now deploying a Spring Boot app in Tomcat is basically pretty straightforward and it implies three steps. Now the first thing that we need to do is we need to modify the pom.xml. Uh, the second one is we need to modify the Spring Boot entry point, so the main class, into our Spring Boot app. And the final step is to upload the WAR file that we produced into a Tomcat container. And that's pretty much it. So uh, do notice that I'm saying we're going to deploy a WAR um, uh, application. So right now our Spring Boot app, you know, is a it's a jar, so we deploy it as a jar and we execute it using you know, the Java jar command. And in order to deploy it in Tomcat, we need to create you know, a war artifact. And we'll see how we can do that in this episode, and we'll also see how we can have you know, both of these uh, options available. So being able to deploy into Tomcat, but also being able to self-execute our application. Cool, so uh, that being said, let's get started. We fired up IntelliJ and let's follow the three steps that I've mentioned earlier. So step number one, we need to modify, we need to edit the pom.xml file. And there are a couple of changes that we have to do for this to work. So the first thing is we need to change the packaging from jar to a web archive. And this will enable us to deploy our application in Tomcat. Um, the second step is to add some dependencies here. So there are two, two dependencies that we need to add um, for you know, uh, our purpose. The first one, we need to mark the embedded Tomcat container as provided. So out of the box, when you create a Spring Boot application, we have an embedded uh, server container that it's hosting our app. So each time you do Java jar, uh, behind the scenes, there is a dedicated, you know, an embedded container that gets fired up and that embedded container serves our application. So we don't need to have anything installed. Now, in order to deploy our application, you know, to a different server container, uh, we cannot have that dependency, you know, uh, roaming around because it might conflict with, you know, the actual container. So by marking it as provided, we remove that jar from our class path, but still, um, provide the option to run our app in a self-executing manner. So I think this is the best approach to tackle, you know, um, a Spring Boot WAR application deployment to Tomcat because it leaves you, it doesn't take anything away from you. It just adds another option, but preserves what you already had. Now, uh, if you have Java 8, then this, this is the only dependency that you need to include. If you have Java 9 or Java 10 or Java 11, then you we also need to include this Java XML, uh, this JAX B API artifact, you know, because um, Java X XML bind was deprecated um, starting with Java 9, so it is no longer available as part of the SDK. And if you try to compile this application without having this um, dependency added here, you will get some runtime uh, configuration errors. And that's the reason why from for Java 9, 10 and above, you actually need to reference this dependency. Otherwise, you'll get lots of you know strange runtime errors. Cool. Uh, another thing that we need to do here, uh, we need to give our application a name. And I think we do that in the build um, in the build section. We can provide a tab name, and I'll say noted um, service, okay? Because this is basically the noted API. Cool. Uh, now that we've done this, I think this is all that we need to do in the pom file. Let's move to the Java main class. That's step number two. So uh, we open. Um, our noted application and in order to make it you know runnable under a dedicated servlet container we need to extend the uh, servlet we need to extend this class with I think it's servlet or um, servlet 
um, initializer or I think we need to ex Spring Boot Servlet Initializer, something like that. Spring Boot Servlet, yeah. Spring Boot Servlet Initializer, okay? Cool. And now that we have extended this class with Spring Boot Servlet Initializer, our application will be able to run, you know, under a dedicated Tomcat instance. Cool, that's step number two. Now, let's verify that, you know, things are still working. So in order to, to do that, I will just hit Maven package and if everything goes well, we should see our little war archive. Um, okay, but it's not working. Okay, we have an error in, in, in our pump file. It has something to do with this element, you know. I'll just remove it. I'll hit package again. And right now it should be working just fine. Let's just give it a couple of seconds. Cool. So everything seems to be okay. If I navigate here in the target, you'll notice that we get this noted service dot war. So this is the build artifact that we're going to upload into Tomcat. Now that we have our war artifact, we need to deploy it in Tomcat. So I'm assuming that you already have uh, an installed Tomcat instance. Uh, I have one, it's located at localhost 8083. That's the port that I chose for Tomcat. It doesn't matter, it can be any port. And we'll hit the manager app because I want to see all the applications that have been deployed here. And now, you know, we have war file to deploy. So I'm going to choose, uh, you know, the file that I've just created. Uh, it's a little, I have lots of stuff here. So let's see exactly. Um, in fact, I think I'll just copy paste. I'll just take this. No, actually it's not this one. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Here. Okay. I'll just copy paste this put it here to speed things up okay so I'll choose the noted service war file I'll hit open okay and then I'll hit deploy and if everything goes well my application should be deployed in Tomcat cool so now I have the noted service my application is running so let's actually check it out. So localhost. Now uh, we have to go to 8083. So the port that we've set up in our uh, in our POM file, you know, is no longer taken into consideration. So for example, here if you set a server port, you know, this server port is available only if you run your application, you know, in a standalone way. Uh, as soon as you deploy your application to, to, to the Tomcat container, this kind of properties no longer take effect. So the server port uh, is not uh, valid anymore. Instead, you will find your application deployed, you know, at localhost 8083, which is our Tomcat port. And now remember that our application's uh, name is noted service. So we have noted service. And now we have API and let's check that we have some nodes coming up and this is our result. Cool. So right now we have successfully deployed a Spring Boot application in Tomcat and we have you no know, half of our problem solved. In the next video, we'll see how we can deploy an Angular application under the same Tomcat container and then we have successfully deployed our noted API. I'll see you in the next video. Before we close, I would like to remind you to subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for more software development tutorials that will sharpen your programming skills. Just go to the Romanian Coder YouTube page and click on the subscribe button. Also, if you found this video useful, please hit the like button and share it with your friends. If you have any comments, thoughts or ideas for new courses, 
just put them in the comment section at the end of this video because I would love to get feedback from you guys. You can also find me on Twitter at RomanianCoder and you can also check out my blog www.RomanianCoder.com Until next time, have a great day and write amazing code. Goodbye!